people who went to the hospital for having something stuck up your butt, what is your story? Got a feeling op has to go to the ER and needs a good cover story. My ex-wife worked as an OR nurse and she said that one night this guy came in with a glass sphere paperweight stuck up his butt, he had had it up there for days, so he needed emergency surgery to remove it. The wife requested to have the paperweight returned because it was a family heirloom. I worked in the ER for 10 years and I have a lot of these, but my favorite was a rolled up newspaper with staples in it wrapped in duct tape. The staples ended up shredding his colon and he needed emergency surgery, but when the doc asked him what happened he just sheepishly said he really likes the news. When I was a general surgery resident I've taken out a lot of things stuck in people's rectums. Cucumber. Corn on the cob. Dildos of course. And Barbie dolls. Only one person just honestly said that he was doing it for pleasure. Everyone else said that they slipped and fell. Trust me. Nobody believes that you were the one in a million that happened to run through a cornfield and then fall on a corn that then got stuck in your butt. Nobody. An x-ray tech that I knew told me that someone came in with a lot of blood coming out of his behind. He said that he was sledding down a hill and noticed there was a wheelbarrow at the bottom of the hill with the handles facing the uphill. Instead of rolling off the sled, he hiked his legs up over his head and went his whole first onto the wheelbarrow handle. Poor guy made up a, when wheelbarrows attack, story instead of just admitting whatever he really did, and somehow he was sledding without pants on? Edit. Same guy also said someone shoved an entire softball into themselves, but I don't know how that occurred. Reminds me of Scrubs where they interviewed a few characters who shoved stuff up their butt. The excuses were typically, I fell on it, until this one dude nonchalantly said, I was bored, while shrugging. Isn't there a coffee table book of ass x-rays? Pro tip from someone who worked in the ER. We respected people who admitted they stuck it up their ass but would always laugh at those who said they fell on it and exchange stories during breaks. This probably doesn't meet your expectation for a, stuck up your butt, story, but, when I was 10, me and a friend were playing seesaw on a large piece of unfinished lumber. We decided it would be fun to jump onto one side from a low-hanging tree limb, which would subsequently launch the other person into outer space. When it was my turn to be launched, I slipped, and instead of flying off, I got thwapped in the nuts and six inches of a splinter up my ass. Worst emergency room visit ever. My story isn't so much about something stuck up my butt so much as it is about a stuck butt. I was born with a condition called imperforate anus. Basically it means my butthole never developed, so technically I was born without a butthole. I like to joke and say that I was born not giving a sit. The way doctors fixed this for me was they ripped me a new one. LOL. They performed a colostomy on the left side of my waist so I can expel waste. I know what you're thinking. That's not where a butthole goes. I agree. Seems like a cruel prank but I digress. After about a year, they reroute the opening they made with the colostomy to where it should have naturally formed. TLDR. I have a man made as whole. MMA for short. I used to work for a GI practice. A couple months after I started working there, we were celebrating the birthday of one of the doctors who worked there. Someone had brought a cake with a weird design on it. It looked like a gumball machine. I asked if that was what it was. And my co-workers laughed and said no it's a lava lamp. I said oh does he collect lava lamps? They all burst into laughter. And finally one co-worker explained that very recently when the doctor was on call at the hospital, he got a call about somebody who had a lava lamp stuck up his butt. They also gave him a lava lamp for his birthday. Sitting in the first aid station at a busy ski resort with a broken elbow you hear many things. Largely uninteresting, but some good weird stuff too. As I sat there, feeling generally pretty sorry for myself a man was brought in, face down on a stretcher, whimpering. Apparently he had fallen and ski patrol went after him. Well ski patrol wasn't on form and they lost control, crashing into him, and one of their skis went straight up his ass, shredded pants and a brutalized butthole. This was quickly overshadowed as a guy was brought in shortly afterwards who'd gotten his throat slashed by the edge of a ski. Nothing arterial, but it was a pretty gnarly sight. Realizing the red scarf his buddy had pressed to his neck wasn't red. My grandmother once worked in medical records and she told me about a file she read through mentioned a guy who came to the hospital with a tennis ball stuck up his ass. The guy's comment on how it got there was he. Dot dot dot. Fell on it. Come on Barbie let's go party. One time I got a bunch of heroin stuck up my ass. This was back before I got sober. I was pretty nervous because of health reasons and because it wasn't my heroin. I eventually got the heroin out of my ass and two days later I was in rehab. Been sober ever since. Five years. Heroin will make you do weird things. Like shove heroin up your asshole. I once knew a guy who knew someone who accidentally managed to get anal beads wedged up in there and he had no idea how to get them out. 
so he tried to use tweezers and that ended up getting stuck as well. I should mention he did survive and he said he never wants to put anything up there again. As an ur doctor, the most common explanations I get are. 1. I sat down on it accidentally and 2. I accidentally fell on it, the most impressive thing I've seen, size 13 Adidas slipper. Not my story. However I am a healthcare provider and treated a patient who came to the hospital with a vase in their rectum. They swore up and down that they have no idea how it got there, and it must be witches. My cousin is an x-ray tech and he told me that one night a guy came in with two frocking Idaho potatoes stuck up his ass. He said he slipped in the shower and fell on them. Yeah, okay buddy. Took care of a dude who did some valentine stuff with his wife. Double-sided dildo. Perforated his colon. Overheard him telling the boys that visited him. IDK I was taking a sit and I just got this really bad stabbing pain that wouldn't go away. Never tell the boys the truth. Bro code violation number 69. Used to work for a general surgeon who once had an old man come in with a large Hillshire Farm summer sausage stuck inside himself he had tried to pass it on his own but it was starting to decay inside his rectum. They had to surgically remove it. And it started coming apart as they were trying to pull it out. A huge mess of a situation. Then there was a college girl who had a large green dildo stuck past her sphincter and the doctor had them wash it and return it to her after he got it out. Oh. And then the young dude that had literally sculpted a pool noodle to look moderately dig like it broke off. The pathology report read, large yellow section of children's flotation device used for poolside entertainment. I miss that job. LMAO. I work in an ER. I've seen vibrators, doorknobs, vegetables, fruits, etc. Shoved up assess. We've decided that we need to have an ad campaign called, tie a string to it. My friend was an OB, GYN, and gay. In SF when whispers of someone in the ER who got fisted with a shot put and now a 8 pound shot put is stuck up his ass and they're gonna operate. He grabbed his forceps and raced down to ER and instead of cutting the poor man open, he delivered the 8 pound shot put. Not me. But my mom used to work in the ER. A dude in his late 60s came in with a salt shaker in his butt. After they got it out, she found a pamphlet about the benefits of lowering your sodium intake and gave it to him. I work in and around operating rooms. Bicycle tire pump. Travel-sized shampoo bottle. Whole light bulb. Intact. Large Kong chew toy. Fifth of Captain Morgan. Lost a bet. So I had to shove an eggplant in there and hold it in for 30 seconds. Long story short. 30 seconds turned into 9 hours and a bit of surgery. The worst part is, I still haven't gotten back my 20 bucks. Most recent was a meat tenderizer. Not the handle. That was outside. They were like a meat popsicle. I hooked up with a random girl after a night out at local dive bar. After a while of fooling around she put anal beads in me. One by one nice and slow. Taking them out was the opposite. She tried to start me like a pull start lawnmower, breaking the string that connected the beads and leaving them up inside of me. I didn't have to go to the hospital but instead let her dig at my ass for an hour until she was able to get them out. We're married now. Not quite the same. But I once had a patient come in because he folded up a playing card and inserted it all the way into his urethra. I am an OR nurse and this young guy stuck not one, not two but three apples up his ass. The surgeon was only able to remove parts of one through the rectum and he ended up needing a colostomy bag. Also had an elderly patient come in for surgery due to sticking salad tongs up her ass. She had closed the salad tongs and they were attached to a part of her colon that was hanging out of her anus. Luckily she didn't have any trauma and she went on her merry little way. This is my type of question. Worked with a doc during residency who took care of a guy who had a dildo or vibrator stuck up his ass. Evidently his girlfriend supposedly got mad and stuck it up his ass when he was passed out. He couldn't get it out. So he drove multiple hours with this stuck up his ass to avoid seeing anyone he knew. Doc couldn't get it out in ER and had to put him under general anesthesia so decided to keep in overnight to monitor. Patient got up to the floor for observation and ended up that his nurse went to high school with him. My dad was an RN and he said that these happen more often than you think. One guy came in dragging a whole curtain rod behind him. So I used to work in a surgical recovery unit. I'm a nurse. And we actually received a patient from the shock trauma operating room. Patient came to our unit after getting a thoracic surgery. Anyway, the reason why he went to shock trauma was because he was in the shower and pretty much going downtown with the end of a broomstick. His wife, girlfriend walked in on him cause he was moaning really loud and she opened the shower curtain, surprising him while he still the broom in his butthole. He was so startled that he slipped in the shower and the broom ended up piercing through his anus, through part of his intestines, liver, a lung and then out his shoulder. 
I got a medium sized butt plug stuck in my butt once. I had on during 6 and I guess it just plopped inside when we finished. I almost cried because I thought I had to go to the hospital alone since my boyfriend at the time had work in 30 minutes. However, we managed to get it out. It was a weird and gross experience and I've been scared of anything up my ass since. I'm an x-ray tech. Remember the Scrubs episode where Drive Cox made a joke about the x-ray of a patient with a light bulb in their colon? Well. I had to image someone who tried that once. It was not a bright idea. It shattered while inside his rectum. Not sure what happened afterwards, but I'm assuming surgery. When my kids are old enough for the safe six talk, there will be a section about butt stuff. My auntie worked in an ur. She told us they had a gentleman come in with a candle wedged firmly into his nether. His explanation was an amazing chain of events. Apparently, he just had a nice shower and decided to lie belly down naked in front of their open fireplace to warm up. He stated either a small earth tremor, or maybe their cat, knocked a candle from the mantelpiece and it, with pinpoint precision, fell into his bum. Jesus just buy a frocking dildo. I promise it's way less embarrassing than going to the ur. I accidentally sat on a Jerry Seinfeld figure made of few silly noodles. A million to one odds. Years ago, I nannied for a family where the mom was a colorectal surgeon. The first time I brought my boyfriend, now husband, to meet them. He introduced himself and immediately asked, what's the strangest thing you've ever found in somebody's butt? I thought for sure I was going to get fired. Mom jumped up from the table, ran upstairs, and came back down with a textbook. It was her favorite textbook because it had an entire chapter of x-rays of things found in people's butts. The strangest one. A light bulb. Bulb end first. My so had a patient come in with a cucumber stuck in his ass at about 3.30 a.m. His story will forever stuck with me. I was walking in my garden in nothing but a bathrobe and I tripped over my hose and fell under the cucumber. Nurse here. I had a patient in his 30s who was having diarrhea but didn't want to keep getting up to go to the bathroom every couple minutes. So he put a super tampon in his anus to plug it. My wife who's an RN heard a story from another nurse in the ER. A guy. Mr. Smith. Shows up at the hospital with expanded spray foam in his ass. The construction kind you buy in a can and is incredibly adhesive. The ur doc contacts his doc friend at another hospital across the city for advice. It turns out the other hospital was treating Mrs. Smith for the same thing. I've never lost anything up my butt, but I went on a few dates with a girl who had just started her cardiology fellowship. Well with Reddit posts like this in mind, I asked her what the most interesting thing she's seen someone shove up their butt. She had a top 3 list and 2 were from the same person at the same time. Mr. Double Trouble had shoved an apple and a light bulb up there. And the other person somehow managed to get one of those 5 pound hand weights stuck. Not entirely on point. Wrong hole but whatever. I dated a girl who told me that her and her ex were trying to spice things up on Valentine's Day. She stuck a bunch of candy cinnamon hearts in her hoo-ha thinking it would be sexy if he ate them out of there. Well, a few minutes later she had a burning pain she couldn't even describe. Turns out the human angina doesn't do well with spicy candy. She went to emergency and everyone had a good laugh at her expense. Not my story but I used to work at an adult store. Someone came in asking us to sell them the speculum we had in the display case but because they were acting so strange we had a manager handle it. The guy confessed after some pressure and turns out he had an apple stuck up his ass. We asked him to go to the hospital and his only concern was hoping a hot nurse didn't help him because he'd be too embarrassed. Maybe you should stick things up your ass if they're not made for your ass. I don't live by the philosophy of anything's a dildo if you try hard enough, but clearly he did. Maybe there should be an entire anal object removal department in hospitals. It sounds like it happens pretty regular. I work at a hospital and we see people maybe monthly for this. One time it was a light bulb and it shattered somehow and the PT was asking to use the restroom and we had no idea. A nurse walks by and picks something shiny up off the ground and is like, what's this? And I was like it came out of his pants as he walked by. While gesturing to the PT, she brought it over to me and it was the part that screws in. She picked it on glove. Haha I remember that one so well. Not me. My mom was a nurse in Argentina. She said they had a kid come in and he was super nervous and embarrassed. Come to find out. This young man had put a mate, gourd for drinking tea, gaucho style, in his rear end and they had to drill a hole through the mate to get it out. This was in the 80s so everyone was making fun of the kid for being gay. Kinda sad. But the funny part was the mate was a souvenir mate that said, memories from, the town that the guy was visiting his boyfriend in. Operating room nurse here. If this ever happens to you, just tell the truth. Those I fell on it stories aren't fooling anyone. We are here to help. There was a guy the first met at a bar once who was very loud and talking about a time his partner, he was by, put a tiny butt plug up his butt. He thought nothing about it until he went to sit down and it wasn't there. 
He spent a solid 10 minutes trying to fish it out before he called his partner in and he couldn't pull it out. The partner also gave up and fisted him instead. He couldn't poop for two days and when he finally did, it was in the bowl and covered in poop. He flushed it and that was why he uses big butt plugs. Why was he talking so loudly? I'll never know. Also, there is a great amber rain story if you want to find it. Edit. He finally popped at work too. So I'm sorry for the plumber who had to fish that out. I heard about a couple that turned up at the emergency department that had been playing and she was using a vibrator on him and well it slipped in. She was giggling and he was embarrassed and sort of furious. It was going well till the wife said it's still working. It's still on and she collapsed in giggles and the girl I know from the emergency department said she couldn't help it and ask if they wanted it removed or the batteries changed. He did not see the funny side but his wife thought it was hysterical. Additional request. Please include the real story along with the story you told everyone else. So a few nights ago in the ER I scanned a patient who came in for possible colon rupture. Apparently he and his partner opened, gaped his rectum, took four Mentos and dropped them in, and put a open 2 liter of coke into his anus. It's called a Mentos enema. Why you would do this? But seriously as a rad tech I can write a book about what I've scanned in people. You looking for tips on what to use? We rarely ever make it to the news over there. But here's one lol. 18 inch yucca root. Worked in the ER for a few years. A guy came in with a baseball stuck up his ass was taking his history and he said, one thing lead to another. Edit. Forgot to mention he had a portion of his colon removed for the hall to be taken out. As a colorectal surgeon, have removed many many things. If it's truly traumatic with an injury, it's an accident. Everything else, put there for pleasure. Like I always say, do whatever you want. Just please make sure it has a handle. Kukomibers and chorizo sausages and glass bulbs are the desperate decisions of dummies. I once was about to go to the hospital because I had the smart idea to use a jawbreaker as a butt plug. The plug part failed. And schloop, up inside it went. Before I did though, I decided to try pushing it out with muscles. Because I figured give that a shot. Then admit to my mom that I was experimenting and ask her to take me to the hospital. She would have. Without judging. Probably would have made me buy safe 6 toys 2 tbh. But off I went to the bathroom. 5 or so pushes later and that frocker slammed into the bottom of the toilet so hard I thought it was going to have damaged the porcelain. Flared bases y'all. Sister is an ER nurse. Had a guy come in who said he was constipated. Said he had an appointment to get to and asked if they could make this quick. Gave him an enema and sit out a bag of weed. Left with the bag. I'm thinking this appointment had to do with selling said bag of weed. When I was in my experimental phase I found one of those hot glue sticks. When I finished I sat up and couldn't find it anywhere and it haunts me to this day. Never had problems though. To make a long story short, a young doctor I knew was working one night when a guy came in with a coke bottle up his ass. They managed to get the bottle out without a huge problem the doctor wrote on the chart that the patient was suffering from coca colia. A good friend is an ER doc. An elderly gentleman came in with internal bleeding and it was serious. He had shoved a glass mason jar up his ass and couldn't get it out. He panicked because he and his family were very religious. He decided to break up the jar with a hammer while it was inside him to take it out in pieces. Basically, shards of glass just punctured the hell out of him and he ended up bleeding to death. My friend said when he told the gentleman's daughter how he died she immediately said, I'll just tell the family it was a heart attack. I heard this story about a guy. He was watching porn at home. And when he got really thorny, at one point, he decided to stimulate himself by putting one of those long white candles up his ass. Unfortunately, the candle broke of and went straight into his ass. Because the guy wasn't able to get it out himself he decided to go to the doctor. The doctor tried to get the candle out for more than 20 minutes but he couldn't do it. At that point, the guy admitted to the doctor that he was so thorny that he made the entire candle story up just so someone would finger his anus. This always makes me think of Colin Moshery. Tonight's headline news. A man who inserted a plastic horse up his butt has been admitted to the hospital. Doctors describe his condition as stable. Not an up the butt story but still a good one. When I was an EMT I was dispatched to this guy's house. Dude went to use his wedding ring like a cock ring. Got it on there but then could not get it off. He was real embarrassed his wife was laughing her ass off. Hey op. It's going to be okay. Just go to the ER ASAP. 